Hello and welcome to Super Sports Women TV. Nat Edwards and Mel Jones with you. MJ, let's kick things off with some tennis. And the Australian Fed Cup team has won their way back into the world group against Germany. They certainly have. They played really, really well. And for those that sort of don't know the structure of it all, there's eight teams in, in the world group. Yep. Uh, the top four go through to the semi-finals. The bottom four then have to play off against the top four of the world group. Two. So that's where Australia now comes up and we're playing Germany. That's great because we actually got knocked out of that world group a little while ago so it's good to be back in there for next year and the Germans really had a formidable team. They've got four players who are in the top 25 in the world. Um, of course Sabina Lisicki, one of the top ranked Germans, was rested with an ankle injury but the likes of Kerber, Georgas and Petkovic were pretty tough opponents. It certainly was and they had the choice of picking their surface as well, yep. uh, being from the top groups. So they picked it in clay in Stuttgart so they had all those things in their favour but uh, the dominance of, of Stoza was absolutely brilliant winning those first two games. Oh, yeah. She was in great form. Her serve is definitely going in. Your Milligard is over as well beating um, Yulia Georgas in straight set 6-4, 6-4 was also another fantastic effort. It certainly was. It was a great result and we're just hoping that they can continue that next year. Exactly. Alrighty, and on to some VWFL. So the Victorian Football Women's League started um, over the weekend. The Premier Division kicked off as well, and it was sort of headlined by the grand final replay yeah, that's between right. the Spurs and the Falcons. <laughs> and it wasn't as big a thumping as the Spurs inflicted on Darabin last year, exactly. but it was still a pretty dominant win. And I suppose a lot of questions then sort of stem to Darabin's, you know, long running wins with Peter Searle as their head coach, yep. who has now left and coaching in the, v, um, the, the VFL. VFL. Yeah, um, so there's some issues there for, for Darabin, but also hats off to the Spurs as well. They've lost some senior players, in particular one of the legends of the game in uh, Sharon McFerrin, who's um, expecting twins know, this year. So exciting. they have certainly done well over the uh, pre-season. They have indeed. All right, on to the ANZ Championships and the Melbourne Vixens have maintained their unbeaten run against the Magic. They had a one-point win. It was a thrilling game. <laughs> and despite the Magic actually yet to register a win this season, they really put it to the Vixens. They certainly did. Um, they were semi-finalists last year, so they've got a quality unit. Uh, they just have been really unlucky in a couple yeah. of their games so far. But really hats off again to the Vixens. Um, Tegan Caldwell with 35 seconds to go, levelled the score at 39. And then with 17 seconds to go, was just cool under the pressure and slotted the, uh, the that uh, net in for the win, but they still had a chance, the Magic. It was, <laughs> it was really interesting because the centre for the Magic, Laura Langman, she went forward and she was right on the edge of the circle and I was sort of thinking to myself, oh, if she just lobs it over the top to Irene Van Dyke, then they could actually level the scores, but she hesitated. Yeah, it was that hesitation that, that did it as well and that's that's what pressure sport is about, and particularly netball on this occasion. Yeah, and Jeeva Mentor once again in the goalkeeper position was exceptional and she's actually written a column this week so you can that check that has. out on supersportswomen.com.au and we've also got an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Julie Corletto coming up um, tomorrow on Friday so you'll have to stay tuned to Super Sports Women TV as well. I don't think one. they'll be giving out too many secrets on their success so Probably far. Probably not although we can try and ask. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right on to some Olympic news and we don't really talk about table tennis too much. Um, we've been unlucky we haven't featured in the medals in any of the Olympics so far, but we should mention that Miao Miao and Lei Jiang Feng will be competing in their fourth Olympics for Australia, which is just a phenomenal effort. Certainly is. Uh, they sort of go in there into the fourth along with Liesl Jones as well. Yep. Miao Miao ranked, uh, got a fourth placing in, in Sydney in the double, yep, so that's her best. best so far. So hopefully it's uh, four times lucky for the girls. Exactly. We <laughs> hope we can uh, get something in the table tennis there. All right, a big weekend of sport coming up and what I'm looking forward to most is the first lady of racing, Black Caviar, going around. She's chasing her 20th straight win at Morfittville on Saturday and uh, I really look forward to that one. I think there's going to be a massive crowd there as well. There <laughs> will be. All right, we will be back again next week. Don't forget to ch check us out on Facebook and Twitter and for all the latest sports and news results, go to supersportswomen.com.au. Have a good Mel. week. Cheers. See ya.